to see the various config sources that we get with the Para server platform, let's get the server up and running so we can just go into the admin console and see it live. So remember the, the Para full stream server you downloaded earlier? I've extracted mine into a folder. I'll just navigate into rate, go into the bin folder, and then this is our as admin script. So I'm going to copy this like this and then change to that location, clear the screen. And then we are going to say as admin, oops, as admin start domain like this oops as admin i got the spelling wrong as admin so this is going to start our server our para server and then we are going to go to the server console server administration console and then we can navigate through the various config sources that the para server gives us so once we go back into our ide and then we are taking things for a spin you can better understand the various uh, config sources well so let's wait for the server to start and then we can go to the admin console to take it for a spin okay so our command has successfully executed now let's go into the, the browser and then go to come here go to localhost colon 88 oops i mean localhost 8080 like this now there's the para server default home page let's go to the administration console okay so we are in the console now now there's the para server back-end console however you want to call it now what we are interested in is this configurations here if we come down scroll to micro profile like this now you come you see there is config here there's the micro profile config this is where we uh, set up the configuration and everything micro profile config now this here is the original these are the various config sources here so there's application now application is where the, the key value or the the config uh, data is stored at the application level and then the cluster is at the cluster level then we have the config default domain the domain is essentially keeping the config data at the domain application server domain level so all applications deployed to that domain have access to rates and then there are other ones another interesting one is the password now password is interesting because it has to do with security when we get to that we'll take a further look at it now you can set all the config uh, ordinal source ordinals here as well for them now you can also set properties here you can pick a specific config source and set a property for it and that will be available in the application and then there is directory now directory is a config source where the directory is the config source and then any file in the directory is the config data so you can set that up here you can set a path to a specific directory here and then once you call for information from that particular uh, directory or source then whatever name you pass is going to be the name of a file in that directory and whatever content is in that particular file is going to be the source data so let's go back into our ide and see hello world micro profile config we've talked a lot let's go back into the ide and then start getting our feet wet